Okay, I'm going to give this a shot. This is the, the accent tag, and this is a West of Ireland Sligo uh, kind of Mayo accent. And um, just I presume it's going to be mostly Americans and English people that have watched this, but uh, there are more than one accent. And, you know, we don't. I don't know at all at all, like some sort of someone slightly concussed or a uh, brain injury. No, it's that's where did you get that from? That's stupid. Julia Roberts. Julia, you're shit. Oh, Michael, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this Ireland has lots of different accents, and I'll I'll do the accent tag, and I'll tell you. Uh, then I'll do like a geographic. Uh, version of all the accents and my impression of them would be the good or bad but uh, my accent would be a kind of a softer well people in Dublin say I'm a bogger which means an uneducated ruffian um, probably of poor hygiene but uh, I'm west of Ireland west of Ireland and in the, I'll do like how I'd say it normally and then I'll do how my mother would talk the kind of because the accent is very much now with, with young people is affected by uh, Americana and American culture and, and by British English is all of that but a lot of our traditional way of speaking English would co would share grammar and and words with the Irish language which would have been the language that was spoken here about 100 years ago like the Irish only died Irish Gaelic only died in Sligo in 1999 so our so the old people older people they don't sound like they're speaking English half the time uh, they talk like Dave so what I'll do is I'll do the accent tags. There's a list of words to read out, and I'll I'll uh, I'll say them in both in both the way I'd normally say it, and then uh, the way like my grandmother or my granddad would have said it. So first of all, garbage, garbage, herb, herb, same thing, schedule, schedule, figure, figure, jaguar. Your tenant, water, advertisement, vase, root, ballet, tomato, or tomato, leisure, address, eight. Well, that's also eat in, in Irish English as well. Eight and eight, the same word. Boy, aluminium, ant, wash, oil, theater, or theater, iron, salmon, caramel. Fire, sure, data, ruin, crayon, toilet, New Orleans, pecan, boat, again, probably, spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, set up, pajamas, caught. Uh, so as a garbage, herb, schedule, figure, jaguar, lieutenant, water, advertisement, Vase, root, ballet, tomato, leisure, address, eight, bowie, aluminium, aunt, or aunt, say uh, wash, oil, theatre, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, sure, data, ruin, crayon, toilet, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, spitting image, or spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pyjamas, and caught. Now I spend it. Uh, a couple of years living in Cork, so my accent is kind of all over the place a little bit. Um, uh, and the questions. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? How the fucking pee in the hole? Stop doing that. Every time I go to the jacks, there's not a bit of toilet paper. Do you know how long it took me to wash it after the last time I was using it? Stop throwing it at some poor cunt's house. Uh, I believe the in common parlance it's termed TPing. It wouldn't be really something we do here. Uh, normally to piss down the chimney to be honest with you. Um, I'm not lying. Uh, what is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Don't know. Seven up. Sure. Tanara. If you don't fuck hot like. Uh, what do you call gym shoes? Runners. We call them. Runners. Runners. Uh, what do you say to juice, address a group of people? Hey or yay? 48. My up. How are you? Hello, how's it going? How are you getting in? <laughs> nice rack. Well, depends on the group. Uh, what do you call the kind of spider that has an oval shaped body and extremely long legs? Call that a daddy long legs. A daddy long legs.
Sounds dirty, doesn't it? Does he get an act? What do you call your grandparents? My grandparents. Why well, I don't call them into now? It's a date. Uh, I don't have to call them anymore. That's the advantage of people dying is you don't have to buy less presents, but then you know they're not around and that's kind of sad. What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A trolley, but it's also more commonly used uh, to bring drink for students down the road or to go riding on the hill. Uh, riding has two meanings in, in Ireland, so. What do you call the wheeled contraption which you carry? Yeah, it's done what do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? Well, that's called a soft day in Ireland. Grain soft day is when it's... Um, some people call them April showers, but they're called soft day, and that comes from Irish languages. Uh, in, in the Irish language, uh, it's called a law bug. It's a law bug. It's a law bug on. It's a soft day. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? My bingo. Or the television remote. Um, so I'm going to do uh, a better one than that because that's to, just purely to highlight the difference between Americans and British people. British people are incredibly poor. Yeah, that's what Americans think in anyway. They haven't seen Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> ah, yeah, I've done all my social welfare payments. Um, so Ireland has a lot of different accents and it is because a lot of it is because in the East in particular, a lot of that is because of uh, Norman and uh, English influence and f uh, French Norman influence and, and for instance there's a part, there's a part of Wexford, County Wexford which is in the southeast called Yola and they used to have their own language, own separate language separate from Irish Gaelic and English um, called Yola as well which is a kind of an amalgam of, of, of uh, Norse and uh, Norman French and I think maybe German as well, I'm not sure. Um, but Irish is heavily, or the Irish, lang Irish accent and the Irish language is heavily dialectical. So we will say if you take someone from the very north of Donegal, somewhere around Carndunna, and you compare them to someone from Skull in West Cork, uh, pretty much the opposite end of the country, they sound completely different. And equally, if you t you could even take someone from Dublin and someone from Leash, and they have a completely different accent as well. Maybe you know if you're not a native English speaker, you wouldn't notice as well. As well. But it's yeah, it's quite noticeable. So uh, my own accent, the kind of North Connacht. There's two kind of accents in Sligo, but North Connacht, West Sligo, Mayo. It's a bit like you know you're trying to talk, but you're not used to the words, you know. And it's even worse when you go to the Gaeltacht, and they can hardly say a word at all, and they try their best. There's an old dog in the shed, um, but they do. <laughs> they talk like that. Is very like on the western seaboard in Ireland. It doesn't really happen as much in the in the eastern sea, but in the northeast, we tend to roll our s's. So in Donegal, and that's sh -sh -sh, and in the west of our west of Ireland, snake, and in Kerry as well, there's a snake. Um, but in the west, in Connacht, which is would be the western is five counties, is Connacht is comprised of Galway, Roscommon, Mayo, Sligo, and Leitrim, and they would all. Cry, would say, Call the city, then it'll be kind of, yeah, a little more cool, yeah. I'm doing an arts festival next week, yeah, yeah. This is not a shop, no, no, that's actually a, a, an artistic, ironic commentary on the capitalist system. They're kind of like a mini Edinburgh, sort of very artsy. Uh, and then there's the townies who talk a bit different after that, and then yeah, the Kundamara people who say things like that uh, tend, tend to be more native uh, Irish speakers, and they, they have kind of they'll pronounce their consonants. Much harder. I used to live with a guy from from Costa in Connemara, and he's pronounced his consonant very he his T's in particular very heavy, which uh, which is very different from the rest of Connacht. Like, apart from those other guys in like Mayo and the V couple of other guys I know who do that a lot. Um, uh, Sligo and North Connacht tends to be a bit slower when the talking. And it's nearly like that, you know, be talking, and then you get down to Roscommon and South Mayo, and they're a bit quicker, like, and Jesus Christ, you know what? Did you see Matthew play a football last week? He was fucking classy. Tell you what, he's taking ecstasy. Uh, and that book, that book was made here, hey. I fucking beat the shit of that cunt. Uh, the other thing is, we use we use swear words and expletives as a kind of a, a punctuation. They're, they don't really have any meaning. For instance, the C word, which most people in America and Britain would regard as the, the most horrible word you could possibly say. Is, is kind of taken to, as a kind of a, a universal noun to represent anything. So, for instance, when I was a kid, my dad used to, like, if the car wasn't working, the fucking cunt is fucking not cunt and fucking working again, the cunt of a fucking cunt. And 
I went to school one day when we were late and because the car had broken down and said to the teacher, sorry we were late teacher, but the cunt broke down in my dad's car. And I, she was between incandescent rage and uh, fits of laughter. But uh, yeah, so swearing is like, fuck, 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 fuck. How are we getting out of fucking shite and fucking? Uh, but it doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't have the same weight. It's just a kind of a abusive language, really, I suppose. Uh, as opposed to abusive language. Um I mean, something you see in uh, what else be kind of step how you doing you, you know no, Christ yeah who's going on broad vowels and very breathy that's something Spanish people notice when they come here there's a lot of Spanish people come here to learn English and they notice that we a lot of them say that we sound asthmatic and it's because we're very breathy when we talk so if you're trying to do an Irish accent maybe it might be good to give yourself a pulmonary disorder beforehand uh, then come on uh, will you come down south then we'll say Maybe towards clear and it's pretty much the same there now. There's that old sack that it wouldn't take now. Come down into Tipperary, it's a bit more like that. You know what I mean? Monster. Tipperary is a monster so clear. And they talk like that in Limerick as well. You know what I mean? Perth and Limerick, they talk like that. And then across the Atlantic City, Cad, it's a bit different after that, like Cad. You know what I mean? All right, Cad, yort. And then they come down into Tipperary, which is pretty much word for word India. Do you know what I mean? You're as well being fucking Rajasthan. Eating the old tweaks in the bottom. We have a, a politician called Porridge. Isn't that mad? We have another one that's basically made out of a slab of butter and plaid. Uh, and then wish Cork would be kind of something similar. As a, Hello, Dan, how are you doing? It's 4 o'clock in the morning, but I'm going to ring you from Australia anyway. Um, then you have Cork City, which is where you're coming in a little bit more by, all right? That's where I used to live by, right? Right, Cock City is the best, is the cat, I'm doing a shy version right now. Cock City, are a boy, starry boy, starry boy, where are you going? And you kind of have like the UCC accent as well, it's kind of the same, but it's kind of soft, like, do you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I was there, like, I got totally language, I read, read this last night, like, then you have Montanotti, hello, yes, we're going yachting at the weekend. And then you're kind of East Cock with like that as well. And it, which is kind of like and then you have Waterford. You know, you know, you know, that's the only one, you know, you know, you know, blah, I have a blah, everywhere. And you come up and you come into Leinster and you kind of have Waxford. Hold on, Waxford. Why do you have the Waxford and Kildare and Carla? Hey, lad, hey, who's going, Carla, Carla? Then Longford, oh, hump of the wake. Welcome to Longford. Oh, jeez. How would you have the markets? I heard about 50 cows. They were all attractive. And then into Dublin. And right, that is like a kind of rough part of Dublin, right? And normally goes along north side, south side, and south side. Be kind of like that. You know, lots of money. Uh... Not so it will fuck you up uh, economically by robbing you, whereas the south side will fuck you up economically by just destroying the entire banking system. And then you have Lourdes, which is like a big watery steaming piss down in your head. Oh god, I won the lotto yesterday. What the Lord, the Lord save us now and Monaghan kind of the same as Island Carvin. God, I uh, wish still alive. Oh fucking hell. And Le- North Leithrum will be. North Leithrum! It'll be kind of like that now, sort of like Cavan as well, although they won't admit it. And then Donny Gall, how's it going? Hey, oh jeez, yeah, we just have sex everywhere. We just, women come on and they just start fucking us straight away, eh? You know what I mean? Like, sexy accent, right? The throne, it's kind of the same. Dairy, scary. Uh, and then Belfast, right? What team do you fucking support? That's the most important thing. What's your team? Um, and then you have kind of a lot of, like, uh, a lot of Scottish influence around um, Bally Mean and Bally Money where the trot like that kind of like you know with the Ulster Scots and the Williams came in out of the house and they went down they sat down with fire uh, and that's about it pretty much that's an entire smorgasbord of well slightly poorly caricatured uh, Irish accents it's kind of so it's like north, south, east and west they all kind of sound slightly different um, and probably the most noticeable ones would be like Cork, Dublin um, Belfast, uh, Donegal, probably uh, west of Ireland as well would be its own thing, and Tipperary, which is very difficult to say. Uh, uh, so that's it. Uh, so, Julia Roberts, better fucking watch this.